Hey programmers, today we will be talking about a data structure that is used to minimize search complexity in a sorted linked list. Imagine a linked list, a doubly linked list which means we can move forward and backward and up and down the node. This list has some elements which are not sorted. So what is the worst case time complexity to search an element from this list? That's right, it will be big of n. Now let's say that the elements are sorted. What will be the complexity to search an element? The complexity to search an element through a linked list of sorted elements is still big of n. Because we can't just move from one point to another in a linked list like we do in an array. If we could, we can do a binary search and get a complexity of log n. Using a special data structure called skip list, we can achieve complexity faster than n. The skip list was first described in 1989 by William Pugh as an alternative to balanced trees. He said, skip list is a probabilistic data structure that seems to replace balanced trees as an implementation method of choice for many applications. Skip list algorithms have the same asymptotic expected time bounds as balanced trees and are simpler, faster, and memory efficient. A basic structure of a skip list is like this. There is a normal linked list at the bottom, let's call it L0. And above that, there is another linked list which has the same elements as an L0, let's call it L1. Now, here's the tricky part. You don't have to copy all the elements in L0 to L1. Instead, we can just copy a few elements such that it looks like an express way. It is up to you how many elements you have to copy from L0 to L1. But to achieve minimum time complexity, the number of elements in L1 should be roughly equal to square root of number of elements in L0. Therefore, to search an element in this data structure, you can use this algorithm. Walk forward through L1 until the element overshoots, that is you move past the element, move down to L0 and move forward until that element is found. If the element overshoots the desired element in L0, then that element does not exist in the list. This algorithm is for a structure with two linked lists, we will generalize in a bit. For now, the time complexity of this search algorithm is length of L1 plus the portion of L0 that we read. Does that make sense? Length of L1 plus length of L0 divided by length of L1 because we don't have to read the portion of L0 which was already read in L1. Now remember that rule of thumb we talked about to achieve minimum time complexity in a skip list that there is n elements in L0 which means that there are roughly square root of n elements in L1 which means the average time complexity of this search algorithm will be big O of square root of n. But wait, we are computer scientists, we can do better. Let's increase the number of layers in the skip list. When there are two layers, the complexity was two times square root of n. When there will be three layers, the complexity will be three times cube root of n. When there will be four layers, the complexity will be four times fourth root of n. And similarly, when there are k layers, the complexity will be k times kth root of n. The challenge for you today is to understand how these statements were deduced. The hint is this equation. Write the answers in the comments below. So to optimize the search algorithm of skip list, we have to find the optimal value for k. What if there are log n number of layers, that is the height of a complete binary tree. If we substitute k with log n and assume that n is power of 2, we will get the time complexity of 2 times log n. And there it is. Using skip list, we can search through a linked list in average time of log n in worst case of n. Now as you know, skip list is a data structure and we can do much more than just search. So let's talk about inserting an element to a skip list. To insert an element into a skip list, first we have to search the position in a list at level 0 where the new element has to be inserted. Then just insert that element in the level 0 list. After this everything gets a little messy. Why? Because after this we will flip a coin to decide whether or not that element needs to be promoted to the higher level list. And I'm serious, we will flip a coin. These types of algorithms are called randomized algorithm where the next step of the algorithm is determined probabilistically or by flipping a coin. So we flip a coin and if it's a head, promote the newly inserted element to a higher level list and do a coin flip again. If it's a head, then promote one level up and continue this process until a tail shows up. But there's a problem, there's a slight possibility that this process will go on forever. To prevent this, we can implement a restriction or a cap to this process, that is, flip a coin if it's ahead and there is no higher level than the current level of the skip list. Hence maintaining the complexity of log n with high probability. Deletion of an element in a skip list is easy. Just search for that element and delete it from all levels. That's basically what skip list is. It is used in database management system to represent key value pairs and allows fast searching through a table. 
to wrap up scape lists a data structure which allows fast search through a ordered linked list optimally the number of elements in kth level should be roughly equal to the square root of the number of elements in k minus 1th level of the scape list to achieve a minimum search time the maximum number of levels should be roughly equal to log of the total number of elements in the list inserting an element in skip list is probabilistic in nature and finally while deleting an element make sure to delete that element from all the levels of the skip list so that's it for today like comment share this video find the implementation of skip list in the description and don't forget to subscribe and flip a coin